because I was off yesterday, but happy Wednesday. I'm not sure if this is the beginning of a new vlog, but if it is, welcome back to another week in the life of a new grad nurse, y'all. Currently, we are heading to work. Y'all, I completely forgot. So every Wednesday, we have what's called like a staffing meeting where everyone, on, all the staff on the fifth floor meet from AM and PM shift. Um, not overnight shift, just AM and PM shift. So nurses from daytime, evening nurse, all of the CNAs, all of the social workers, and anybody that's involved, and we just basically meet, have a floor meeting, and um, talk about everything that's going on, changes, issues, concerns, stuff like that. So, I completely forgot, so I'm chilling and basing my time, oh, hold on y'all. I'm chilling, basing my time to get there at three o'clock, and then I, it finally hit me at like 1.55. My today's staff so I decided to get ready really quickly and I'll get there right at 2 30 so that's fine there's always a little bit of stuff to wrap up from the uh, morning before so we'll see when you're off so much can change in that day so I'm interested to see and I'm anticipated to see like what's getting ready to happen here as far as or what's going on or what has changed since I've been off I need a gas no time to get gas y'all it just be a lot going on i did get a pair of new scrubs earlier i just was rushing because um i miscalculated my time and i was up this morning we went to the gym me and my friend oh my goodness come on y'all me and my friend went to the gym this morning and it feels good to be going back and doing that so that's now two days in a row that we've gone and that's good so praying that's gonna be a nice Good night tonight at work. And if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. I'm trying to grow my pages on both of those sites. And I think that's it, y'all. like 12 51 and i just pulled up to brunch i'm having brunch with like literally a childhood like friend um but yeah we're having this is like um kind of like a late nursing school celebration um it was supposed to be happy hour and then we turned it just into like going to brunch but y'all yesterday i went to the links um I wonder if I should like, I wish I had my bow or something because it is not looking how I want it to look. But anyway, how I have this little braid in. I did a braid last night. I went to the Lynx um, basketball game. And so uh, last night, so I had did me like a little makeshift ponytail because I was just, I'm sick of my hair, y'all. And I don't want to keep doing like slick back ponytails like with the parting and stuff because i feel like that's not good and not to say that this is any better but like even with like my edges and stuff i just don't want to i just want to do better with my hair so yeah that's that um we did win last night there's my little ticket i'm doing like this scrapbook i guess you could say and it's kind of like my summer memory book so i'm keeping little memoirs and little things from all the activities that i do and um I'm putting them in there like so i have to show you guys it's coming out pretty cute but the first game this is the second game that i went but i did um already put that ticket in there i think so we'll just see how it all turns out but oh excuse me i actually the place we're having brunch at is in this place called the north loop which is like a really cute little subset of like downtown um slash the minneapolis area the only thing that sucks is that it's right by the target center and just downtown in general parking typically sucks so um finding parking i thought was gonna be pretty bad i mean i'm just right around the corner so honestly i'm not even mad at where i did get some parking i just gotta make sure i read the thing real quick i'm five minutes early so hopefully she has good luck finding parking because it's a wins game going on so i feel like a lot of the street parking is probably taken from that because the event parking is $30. So, yeah. <laughs> 
No limit, baby Give you that black car No limit Just know when you roll with a nigga like me There's no limit, baby You can say, uh, No limit I see murder, murder that No limit, baby Give you that ghetto D, girl No limit Just know when you roll with a nigga like me There's no limit, baby Good morning, you guys Happy Tuesday It is currently... It's actually morning. It's 8.56. I'm up kind of early, y'all. My schedule has been all over the place. If you guys know, y'all know that I'm already a morning person. But working on night shift or evening shift, because I don't work overnight work. It's so crazy because some places consider, like, nights overnight. So, at my job, that's what they consider it. And then, like, I'm, I'm evening shift. So, working evening shift sometimes it takes me a while to like get home get settled get tired and wind down from the day and actually fall asleep so i might be up till one or two o'clock and then um, my body will normally wake up like at six sometime between five and seven i might not stay woke now back in the day i would stay woke like in nursing school just because i was so used to getting up early every day especially when i was going to the gym at five in the morning but now y'all it is so hard for me to get up that early like i just don't be ready and i'm trying to push myself because yeah so anyway i got me some iced coffee in my little cup here i'm obsessed with this cup i got it from the juneteenth festival that me and my friend went to and it was from like they had a whole section with like kid owned businesses and yeah she makes these little cups and i just think this is so cute it's like five bucks and it says fearfully and wonderfully made psalm 139 14 it's just super cute so I'm just drinking some Starbucks iced coffee with some hazelnut creamer. So good. Um, I need to get some more protein shakes. I've been trying to get back to like my protein coffees. Just because like now I'm like trying to be in the gym and like shape my body. Like I feel like when I was on my weight loss journey before and I lost 80 pounds, like I didn't care really about like shaping my body. And now, because I just, I didn't want to go to the gym, anything like that. So, like, this time, I'm trying to kind of um, pay more attention to that because I do have more, like, body goals and, like, how I just want things to, like, reshape and everything. And we're on the right track. But I just didn't really know. I I'm still learning and understanding, like, how protein and, like, building muscle and all that stuff, like, really plays a part and you losing fat and your weight and all that stuff so yeah i've been trying to increase my protein and i just feel like the protein coffee is something that's super easy to do and i would do it all the time when i was on my weight loss journey because i would try to do like zero sugar stuff all the time because i remember like um y'all know my girl danny j she was doing keto for a long time and so she was actually the one that i first seen do the protein shakes and vlogs and stuff but a lot of people do do it like on tiktok and stuff like that but she was the first person that i like actually know that was doing it consistently and it was a good way for her to like get away from creamer because I feel like for me that's a hidden thing like with sugar and stuff because i had really corrected like my overeating aspect of it i feel like i was stress eating in school and i wasn't as active so now i'm more active obviously i'm working i'm going i'm working out more which i never did i'm moving my body it's super important for you to work out now i know that now that i'm a nurse but i mean you know you know that before but you really learn how important it is to just really get that heart and everything moving but um i don't know if the clip is gonna make it in before this but i'm pretty sure it might so if it did it's later on um still on my off day which is thursday it's like six it's almost seven o'clock so 6 55 as you guys can see we did get our braids y'all and i'm absolutely obsessed with how they turned out they're just so neat they're so light my hair was hurting a little bit at first i'm not gonna lie but honestly they're super light and i just love them i think they did a really really good job i'm gonna make sure i get like some oil and stuff to just make sure i'm oiling my scalp and everything like that and making sure that my hair is as protected as possible underneath and moisturized so that it doesn't break off i've been taking my vitamins and i do want to actually incorporate like actually taking collagen powder I was thinking about taking like the actual vitamin, but I have just been taking my nail, hair, skin, and nails vitamin and then um, my prebiotic vitamin. 
little feminine vitamin that I take. And then I've been taking that consistently. So I've just kind of been working on like trying to get consistent with all of like my routines and stuff. And I feel like it is making a difference. Like my skin is getting together. My skin tried to break out because of this hair because they had it like, you know, down here for quite some time. But it was so quick. I ended up going to the African braiding shop and I don't think I will ever go back. I will never book with anybody i just think it's so easy and something so convenient about going in and just being in and out like they don't play and my hair turned out so nice and i was literally in and out in like three hours i kid you not so i was still able to do some other things with my day so we went and got our hair braided and then um we got starbucks this morning i think like i said it you guys would have seen all of that when i i have a lot of editing to do y'all i'm so behind on editing but that is what I plan to do with the rest of my night um, is I'm about to, I got all my stuff. I'm getting ready to find, get me something to eat and then I'm going to take a shower, do my skincare. I got my braid bonnet. I'll show y'all that when we get to, when I get out the shower, I'll show y'all my little braid bonnet that I bought. But it's really convenient and I feel like these are the perfect length. Like they're just not too heavy and these are considered small, medium and the price was right. So I was super happy. Like I just feel like all my maintenance has come together. I did get a pedicure earlier this week. Um, my grandma is, went out of town. She's actually out of town right now. She's on her way back as we speak because she be out living life. I um, treated her to her nails done and I ended up getting a pedicure. So I ended up really getting the full maintenance, y'all. I had got my lashes, my nails done, my eyebrows done, my toes done, and now I got my hair done. So your girl's kind of feeling a little bit right okay so i was gonna be lazy and i didn't feel like really going to the gym today but then my accountability partner was like i'm gonna still go and so i was like you know what i need that because i can still go there is really no reason like my head was hurting at first and then like i told you i took the tylenol and i was cleaning up and so it kicked in and i was like you know what I can, she was like, I think she, she was like, she thinks she's going to go on a walk in the neighborhood because we live in the, we live very close to each other. And so I was like, you know, I can do a walk. So we did a little walk, a little mile and a half walk. And I'm going to go to, we're going to go to the gym tomorrow. And then I'm going to go this weekend. Like, I'm trying to really get back on just like my healthy, <clears throat> taking care of myself, like era, because it really makes a difference. Um, it helps with time of the month. It just helps with all of your body systems your heart health all of that and it's something y'all what is in what is in the fact when you get your hair done it seems like your skin clears up why my skin look good like even though it kind of tried to break out right here i put like two people patches on here but i'm out i need to go to target i'll probably go to target in the morning if i don't go right now because i kind of want to run i honestly want to run into this dollar tree and i want to run into target just to see what they got. I know that I'm starting to get things from my home. Well, I don't think you guys don't know, but I'm, you know, obviously I graduated nursing school. I got my first job. I'm getting settled. I'm getting caught up on things. So it's time to, you know, start looking for a place and saving. And I'm so blessed. You know, I always see this controversy. There's always a controversy going around on TikTok that's always about like you know people who live with their parents and there's just like two different sides there's people that are like supported and there's people that are like no there's no excuse and you can move out and you can do this and that's so true you know what i'm saying and i've done that on my own thing in the dorm setting in the apartments in true apartments you know what i'm saying i've been on my own several times and um i just feel like this time when i be on, on my own it's going to be so different I really am not in, don't have any urge to live with another person anytime soon. I'm not going to lie. But I do think it's going to be an adjustment to live by myself after all these years because I haven't lived by myself in a very long time. And so just being an, the adult that I am and just everything, I just think there's going to be a lot of really exciting parts to this move and just like really being able to do things like when I have other apartments you know I was a college student I didn't really have everything I mean my other houses they were nice and I I was happy to um like decorate that place but ultimately I didn't leave with any of those items so I'm very excited to this is my stuff can't nobody like 
dictate don't nobody else's opinion matter about how i want to do it you know what i'm saying and of course i probably ask opinions but this is my place i get to decorate the whole thing and i'm super excited like from my bedroom to the my bathroom the kitchen you know i'm just excited to like open up so many different kitchen appliances that i have y'all i have so many kitchen appliances i'm actually going to probably just do a haul for y'all because you guys have never seen all of these brand new appliances that i've been acquiring over time and just the home things that i've been acquiring so i will show you guys what i have and then obviously over these next couple of weeks in these next two months i will be acquiring things because my goal is to try to get as much as i can now hey guys happy um friday it kind of feels like a monday for me because this is day one of my four day weekend stretch so when it's my weekend to work i work that friday before and that fr monday after and then i'm off the thursday before my weekend so we were off yesterday and then i'm off tuesday which is the day after my little weekend off so we're heading to um, work right now, y'all. And yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, you gotta go in and just, I hope it's a nice little smooth shift. Um, the weekend, this is my second weekend so far and they're pretty chill for the most part. It was a holiday weekend last time so we had a lot of people that were gone. So um, we'll just see how it goes. You know, I'm hoping that I'm not on both med passes today and just maybe one if none. If none, that'll be awesome because I can get a lot of stuff done. Like work, office works, and at my desk, hopefully. Um, but you just never know what's gonna pop up. That's the beauty of nursing. Literally no two days have been the same since I've gotten there. So I just pray I'm not walking into a mess and unfinished things because today is one of my residents' INR days. And lately, they have not been finishing it on the daytime shift. So I have been having to start my shift finishing that which is a time consuming process and then i've typically also been on meds and all that stuff so again just hoping that it's a nice smooth little day and uh we're gonna claim that so i did go to starbucks y'all we finished off our little gift card today actually i might have a little bit left but i got a different drink this time and i just got a grande because i did already have a freaking 12 ounce cup of dunkin coffee um the Keurig one though the one that you make at home this morning like around 12 but I definitely need it y'all I don't know what is with my body and that's why I'm like really trying to get on top of my supplements and stuff because for one I don't need to be drinking like a ton of caffeine like two three four cups of coffee so this is it but I just wanted to have some caffeine to bring with me because I ended up finishing my whole coffee when I was getting ready for work um so yeah anyway I tried this because everybody says this is so good so this is the grande hazelnut oat shaken espresso never gotten anything with, with oat milk before and i love hazelnut coffee that's like my favorite flavor of any kind of coffee so we're gonna try it with y'all and i did get a straw i did brush my teeth not too long ago too that's good though it's strong like it's strong but it's good i like that but it's definitely not for the girls who i want to say it's not for the girls this is for the girls who like to taste their coffee that want to taste their espresso um yeah that's for the girls that want to taste their espresso for sure but it's still good got like that hint of sweetness and that's kind of how the vanilla sweet cream cold brew is that if you don't add too much sweetness to it it's not gonna like tickle that sweet coffee fancy it's still gonna have like that bitter like strong coffee taste which i do like sometimes i'd be in a different mood for all different types of things at all different times so, yeah, I'm excited. I did get to pick up some poppies from Target yesterday. I meant to do a little haul because after I talked to you guys, we went to Dollar Tree and we went to um, Target. And I just got a couple of things, but I, I should have still showed you. One of them was some poppies. You guys know I love the ginger lime poppy. I don't know why they will not make the, like, the four case of that one. Anyways, we're almost to work. Um... 
I will check in with you guys if it's not a busy night. But honestly, y'all, sometimes, like, once you're in there, like, it just, it'd be a lot. Like, once you're there, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. And, um, you know, you got to roll with the flow. So, we'll see what that flow is for the evening. 